I'm Andrew Lofthouse. I'm representing Team at Kale, fighting out of Manchester, England. And you can catch me on Bomber 27 in Dublin on December the 16th. I know that Ian Cleary's a three win, three loss as an amateur Clan Wars champion. Um, he, I know he's a, he's a typical Irish, strong, tough fighter that's always game, so I'm looking forward to it. So he's more experienced as an MMA fighter, but as a, as a a fighter in general, I've been in the game for 15 years, so there's nothing that I haven't come across fighting. Um, my, my striking, I can do with my eyes closed, it's no issue to me, um, and I've been training around some top guys for me groundwork, my wrestling and BJJ and things like that, so no, I'm confident going into this fight, otherwise we would have never took it. Preparation has been really good for this fight, I've been, I've been training with a few people at different gyms, I've been down to ASW with the likes of... Uh, Mike Wilkinson, Scott Asker, Mike Diakese. Um, but I've been mainly going down to Aspire Combat in Liverpool with uh, Dean Garnett, I'm training with some of them lads. They've got Alan Philpot there who's facing Tom Duke and Warren Accard. So, you know, my ground game's been getting drilled a lot more than my stand up game. So, I've been just, you know, just drilling takedown defence, uh, working from my back, working from on top, everything really, just to make sure that I'm 100% when I get in the cage. No plan survives contact with the enemy, so it doesn't matter how much I go through it in my head or he goes through it in my head, it will come down to when we're in that cage on the night. I mean, there's been plenty of times where I've got in the ring as a TIE fighter and thought, what am I doing here? Why am I doing this? Uh, but this time, preparation's been bang on and I'm, a, I'm very confident that I'm going to come out the winner. The fans in Dublin are in for a treat. Um, it's, a, it's a big card. There's some big fights on it. Uh, Tom Dukenwar always puts on a show. Alan Philpott is he's coming out to be to be crowned as like the number one in Europe. So um, it's a big show. Um, like for fighting for myself, I like to go out and put on performances. Sometimes I've been told off off my team for forgetting about scoring and things like that, just because I do want to entertain. I do want to put on a show, uh, and the majority of the time. I, I think that I do, to be honest. I'd like to say thank you to everyone that's been involved in my career since day one. Um, but this is a new era for me, it's a new start. Everything in the past is in the past. It's a new chapter. Even if I don't come away with a win on Bama 27, it's, this is going to be happening for the next five, ten years. Hopefully I can reach the top and become one of the best. Um, I'd like to thank Daz Morris, who's always had the faith in me the past three years as my stand-up coach, um, the lads down at Aspire Combat who have taken me under their wing as well, they're making sure no stones left unturned, and Dean Garnett, Alan Philpott have been doing all sorts for me to make sure that my game's fantastic when I get in the cage. Um, I'd like to thank Adam Horner at Team McHale, he's the one who's uh, ha helped this happen, he's, uh, he's took me under their management with no prior experience in the MMA game. He's got the confidence and he can see the potential. Um, a big shout out to Combat Sports Nation who have asked me to do this uh, video. Give me a bit of exposure hopefully. And um, looking forward to seeing the fans um, in, in Dublin that are coming over with me. And let's make it a good one. Follow us on Instagram. Watch us on YouTube. Check us out on Facebook. Visit us on Twitter. And stay tuned.